Saturday, May 13th, 2017. It has just gone 11.42 New Zealand time. And this video goes out to The Range, who is currently challenging me on some of my videos about whether I am an amateur astronomer and whether I own a telescope and all the rest of it. Now, I've already responded with several comments and uh, playlist links from my playlist showing the work that I've done with the various telescopes that I have access to, including this 8-inch Mead LX10. Let's take a close-up on that telescope. As you can see, it says Mead LX10 EMC. So let's just zoom out here and uh, I'll give you a bit of a spin around with the telescope. So you can see that I'm actually here, and here we go. Let's just turn this round, and you can have a good look at it. This is the 8-inch Mead LX10 telescope, which is from the observatory, which, I, as I said, I have free access to. I do not own this telescope, nor do I own the 14-inch Mead LX200 at the observatory, which I also have free access to. But this is the telescope that I've been using and posting uh, videos on my YouTube channel of the Moon and Saturn and Jupiter and other objects as well. Um, we also have the Canon 60D, which is right here. And let's have a closer look at that. That's the Canon 60D A telescope. The A stands for astrophotography. So this has the infrared cut filter removed as from manufacture. That's why it's a 60DA and not a 60D. So let's show you how this thing connects to the telescope. So this is the business end of the telescope up here. Let me tilt that up. And we remove the eyepiece out the end here. And we put the camera in the back end there. And lock it up. We usually put the strap over the top in case the camera falls off. That would be a disaster. And then we can take photos with the camera. There we go. Here is the camera on the end of the telescope. So this is the 8-inch Mead LX10. As I say, the LX200 is a 14-inch telescope. It is fixed at the observatory. We do not transport it. It is all set up, and uh, it's just too big to transport. This one is even quite difficult to transport uh, with the tripod and the size of the scope. It packs away into quite a, a large box, um, but at least it is portable. And I also mentioned a little hobby telescope, which I bought when I was about 15 years old. And there it is, rather neglected and gathering a lot of dust. This is a 60 millimeter refractor telescope, uh, which, as I say, I bought when I was about 15 years old. So that was over 30 years ago. I'm around about 50 years old now. Um, so I have never invested in a large telescope like one of these um, because I don't need to. I've got free access down at the observatory to a 14-inch Mead LX200, which is worth, it cost us 14,000 New Zealand dollars to buy, and it cost about the same amount again to set up that telescope uh, with, the, with the mount and all the bits and pieces that go with it. And to be honest, I don't have that sort of money to throw around at telescopes. And why would I? When for $30 a year, I can join my local astronomical society and have free access to telescopes like this one. So there we are, the range. I hope that has answered your questions. But certainly let me know if you've got any more.